Hello everybody, I'm Miss Gossip, and it's almost time for Descendants 3. The second movie brought some new looks for the main characters, and this one's no different. The VKs are all rockin' new outfits, some of which are pretty different than what we've seen them in before. They all look great, but you can definitely tell how far the characters have come since the original movie. But before that, if you are new to our channel, please remember to subscribe and put the notifications on so you won't miss any of our cool videos. Let's start with Carlos, because he's changed the most. Carlos is the youngest of the VKs, and he's the one who's done the most growing between films. Carlos definitely doesn't look like a little kid anymore, now dressed in gear that looks like it came out of a Disney motocross rally. He's looking a lot older and more confident than when we left him last, but he's still in basically the same color scheme. Carlos looks totally different than in the first movie. He's really left behind his old look to embrace something more mature and more confident. It's hard to imagine that the kid from the first film would grow up to be this guy. And the new look is definitely going to have a lot of fans. Next up is Evie. Her look's not quite as radical a departure as Carlos's, but it's still a pretty big change. The first movie had her in a Snow White gone bad sort of costume while the second movie had her in something that's pure Oridon. The new costume has totally abandoned the fairy tale vibes, putting her in something that looks a little more like Isle Couture. Again, the big comparison here is to the first movie. Evie's style is a lot more confident and grown up before. This is an outfit you can definitely see a style-obsessed fashion maven wearing. Mal's outfit change isn't nearly as dramatic as either Evie's or Carlos's. In fact, her look is a lot like what we saw from her on the aisle during the second movie. We're still looking mostly at dark colors and a lot of purple in her overall look, really just more of the same. In fact, this Mal looks a lot more like the first movie's version of the character. There's definitely no Oridon in her look at all, which is interesting. Does this mean we're going to spend more time on the aisle in Descendants 3? Finally, we've got Jay. He's the character who has changed the least from movie to movie, and that's pretty much what's still going on here. There's not a lot of dramatic changes in his costume, but the detailing is interesting. His jacket looks a lot more like an Oridon jacket than in the past, maybe hinting that he's getting even more comfortable being away from the aisle? Jay does look pretty different from the first movie, though. He's a lot more refined and a lot more covered up. He's definitely left a lot of the bad boy behind as he's grown up. That's all we know so far, but you can tell a lot from a costume. What's your favorite villain kid dress? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Miss Gossip. As always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to put a like, subscribe, and share this video with family and friends.